Hello and welcome to Flawless Botox 360 Degree Mastery. A doctor once told me I'm never getting Botox done. And today she's one of the big and popular names injecting Botox in her city. In my vast experience of more than 20 years, I've come across major transformative impacts of aesthetic facial injectable treatments. And the success stories which I have observed have become my learning curve into believing what a tiny syringe can do to a person's life. And it's not me alone. 80% of my peers or medical practitioners share a similar conservative attitude towards aesthetic injectables. Either they are not primed with these modalities in their medical education or they're apprehensive to injecting Botox of fear of complications and not being able to manage them. One more thing that comes as a realization is that it's, it is the doctors that need to have a mindset for injecting rather than the patients. The patients are very well aware and informed and it is the medical practitioners who need to cope up with and in the increasing demand of these procedures and hence this course Flawless Botox Mastery 1.0 which is my very first online venture that's focused not only on building a skill set to inject but more importantly the mindset to inject. We are all skilled enough but what's lacking is the right positioning of those skills when it comes to injecting and planning aesthetic procedures, and most importantly, counseling and consultation of patients and clients. So the first thing that we have to know is what exactly is Botox and where do we get it from? So Botox is derived from the bacteria that's usually found in the soil Clostridium botulinum, and it has been used in medicine since over a century, and it has been used for various medical indications pertaining to all the fraternities. And it got its FDA approval for being used for cosmetic indications like the horizontal forehead lines in the year 2002. And ever since then, more than 50 million people have been known to getting Botox done regularly. And this number is increasing many fold every year. Now, according to an article in the Time magazine, Botox has become a drug that can treat anything. And this gives another reason for you all young injectors for getting to know more of this miracle molecule. Uh, the next question that comes to mind is how does Botox work? Now, the Botox works by blocking the release of neurotransmitter called acetylcholine at the neuromuscular junction. Normally, what happens is that when a nerve impulse travels and reaches the neuromuscular junction, acetylcholine is released uh, from the presynaptic vesicles and these are then combining with the receptors on the postsynaptic vesicles, which bring about the contraction of the muscle. Now, when Botox is injected, it binds to these postsynaptic vesicles and the released acetylcholine has nowhere to go and nowhere to bind. And hence, the muscle gets no clue that it has to contract. Now, there is basically a loss of communication between the nerve and the muscle, leading to the inactivity of the muscle at the sites where Botox is injected. Now, this brings us to our next question, which is very commonly asked in your consultations that does Botox paralyze the muscles? Well, although Botox has the capacity to bring about muscle paralysis, but that does happens when it's injected in very large doses directly into the belly of the muscle. And in fact, this property of Botox is used in many spastic muscular disorders. But when we talk about cosmetic indications of Botox, the dosages which are used are so minute and so little and the one unit of Botox has the you know capacity to diffuse for about one centimeter and is effective in that area only and not the entire muscle. Also, it's injected very superficially, intradermally raising the blebs and because here our aim is to dissociate the skin creasing associated with contraction of the muscles of facial expressions. Now, the thing about these muscles of facial expression is that their origin is on the bone, but their insertion is into the skin, which is why their contraction brings about formation of various facial expressions uh, and formation of wrinkles and fine lines. Now, uh, Botox is doing the dissociation between muscle contraction and the skin uh, creasing. And I have done a detailed YouTube video explaining this mechanism of action. So if you have get a chance, if you get a chance to go through that video, do see that. Now, the next question is, how much time does it take for the Botox to show its effect? And for how long does it do the results last? Now, Botox will take up to 72 hours to reach its maximum effect. 
and in majority of individuals, but in few cases, it can take up to five to seven days. So anywhere between two days to seven days is a time which the Botox will take for to show its effect. Now, the results will last for exactly 90 days, but that does not mean that all the effect is lost immediately at the end of 90 days. It starts to wane gradually. And in the next session, they can be repeated anywhere from four to six months, depending upon the requirement of the face.